All right, guys. Well, it's box opening time. Um, got another plane from uh, Nitro Plane. So this is the Dynam um, 1200 millimeter Spitfire. Uh, this is one of Dynam's brand new Spitfires the uh, Nitro Planes is carrying. Um, I went ahead and got the uh, the ARF version. Um, didn't need any of the radio gear or anything like that. So uh, um, went ahead and just got the ARF with the servos and the retracts and uh, and the uh, the plane major part there so uh, we're gonna go ahead and UPS man just dropped her off so we're gonna do a little box opening here and uh, check her out and do a little review of shipping uh, the box looks to be I mean you know for UPS ground it actually looks to be in really good shape a couple little dents on the top there but no big deal so I'm gonna put the camera down for one second and get her cut open and then we'll go from there make sure we all can still see there we go. All right. All right, we are open. And as always, upside down in the box. <laughs> That's all right, though. Get her out of the main box, and then we'll get the camera back up. There we go. Set it down for one second. Get rid of this box. Nothing else in there. We are empty. Looks like the packing box and the actual plane box are perfect fit, perfect size. Um, all right. Box looks to be in really good shape. Let me go ahead and grab the camera again. Alright, so, so far so good. Uh, box looks in good shape. No major, uh, just a couple little corner dented in, but usually they they don't pack too close to the corners anyways. So, alright, let's go ahead and get the lid off this sucker and take a look. Alright, when we open it up, we have got a decal sheet and the instruction manual to the Dynam Spitfire. So, good little instruction manual. Let's take a peek inside real quick. Lot, <clears throat> lots of detailed pictures. Um, all your basic stuff. Uh, you know, typical ARF build. So, uh, looks like it won't take long at all. Um, nice set of decals. Look good on the wings and on the fuselage. All right. Now we'll get to the good part. Grab this over here. All right, guys, let's, let's check her out. Okay, here's a fuse here. Gonna take the top off of this. Gonna pull a fuselage out. Whoa. Okay, let's hold on a second here. This isn't good. Let me turn the light on here. Make sure you guys can see this. Wow, that is all over the entire fuselage. All right, it looks like the paint over the entire fuselage is nothing but bubbles, just bubbled up. Um, wow, and if you barely touch it, it just starts crinkling and crackling. Um, golly, that is... That's unacceptable. That's horrible. Um, wow. Okay, I'm not even going to touch that anymore. Let's take a look at the bottom. Jeez. Yeah, the bottom's just as bad. And the actual fuse is... Well, it looked like they tried to glue it, but it's split in the front. Um... That's not a big deal. That's not my main concern at all. It's the paint that seems to be my concern now. Okay, we got ripped off paint under here, which is no big deal because that's where the wing is at. So I'm not worried about that. But that stuff, guys, that's that's unacceptable for a brand new plane. And the weird part is it's <laughs> almost looks half and half, 50-50 down the middle. And I mean, look at that. Those aren't little bubbles, guys. Those are huge sticking up um, all over the entire plane. Wow. 
well, I can tell you this thing is not going to be a keeper. This will be going back um, everywhere. Okay, and it looks like also the fuselage in the back has also split open and all of the, looks like the mounts here for the tail section, <laughs> well they're glued in, but they're glued in about a quarter of an inch too low and not even in the slots. Um, wow, that is so far guys, this is a uh, I'll, I'll wait. Let's let's finish looking at it. Um, so there's the fuselage that is supposed to be glued seamed together. As you can see, the parts I'm talking about are right there. That's probably where the uh, elevator screws in, the horizontal screws in. Those aren't even in their little grooves right there. They're glued below it. Um, down here we have just got split glue and fuselage everywhere. Um, looks like it goes... Oh, sorry, let me zoom out. Looks like it goes all the way to the completely diagonal caddy cornered uh, <laughs> rear landing gear. Wow. This is... Okay, and then at the bottom we also have a big chunk out of the foam. Actually, two big chunks out of the foam. Nice. Two large chunks out of the bottom of the foam on the belly. And I'm going to keep this rolling in a non-stop video to make sure that we get all this from opening to end before I contact them because this will be recorded. Okay, so this is straight out of the box, guys. This is just insanely unacceptable. Let me see here. Alright, I'm going to get this little box out of the way. Oh, I'm not even sure I want to look in that. We'll wait on that for a second. I think I already know what's in that anyways. I ordered another part. Sorry, guys. Yeah, okay. That was my main thing I was wondering about, too, was I, I just had to order a couple of speed controls from them as well, so that was in the little parts box, um, as well as... Okay, that's what it did in there. It looks like, <clears throat> looks like we got the spinner. Um, we got some glue, and just the little, little plastic accessories, tail wheel, all that kind of stuff is all that is in that box there. Okay, so, uh, well, I, we normally would look much, much deeper into the plane at this point and double check everything, but I am pretty well convinced at this point that I know for a fact that either a brand new fuselage will be sent to me or this will be getting returned for a full refund this is just crazy uh, well and shouldn't surprise you but the servos are well one's glued in the other one is just dangling there um, man I you know I had issues with nitro planes in the past and you know we got those worked out and I've ordered a couple planes from them since then and it has been nothing but just just perfect not a problem at all and they were actually dynams as well uh, the a10 was one of them and I've actually ordered two of those from them having a blast with them and uh, I figured this dynam would be no different but wow okay well let's move on guys no point in staring at that for the rest of the night okay that was the cover for that now here's looks like we got the prop real nice uh, three-bladed prop which won't get used <laughs> Um, all right, another box here, guys, that I'm kind of scared to open up. I'm going to go ahead and move the fuselage down here into this box where it can't get touched. All right. Well, let's see what's in this box. Should be the wings. I just hope they don't look like the body. Okay, I'm going to kind of set you uh, off over here to the side a little bit. Hopefully we can still see as I pull it out here. All right. Yeah, looks like, okay, here's the tail section. We'll just go ahead and look at that first. Okay, I'm not going to open anything up. Okay, the tail section as far as paint. Okay, on the uh, vertical, the vertical looks to be in good shape from what I can tell. Like I said, I'm not opening it. Um, but I don't see any 
any bad paint on it. Uh, the horizontal also seems to be in uh, in good shape. Uh, no dings or dents. It doesn't look like. Well, yeah, we've got paint missing right there. Um, that that's that wouldn't have been a big deal at all had it just been that. Um, canopy, uh, a little cheesy pilot, but that's all right. Um, canopy looks to be in uh, you know good shape. No problem with the canopy at all. All right, so it looks like at least the tail section is in good shape. Now we're gonna go for the other main part here, guys, the wings. Yeah, here they are. Okay, wing number one, and I'm gonna kind of lift the box so I don't have to bend them. Okay, wing number one. We'll start with the bottom. Bottom of wing number one looks to be pretty good shape. Couple little nicks there, here and there on the control surface. Of course, a little dented in area there. The light's not helping, sorry guys. A little dented in area there on the tip, wing tip. Looks like it got jammed up or something. A big deal. Okay, yeah, we got a problem again. Surprise, surprise. Well, I guess we can start with the paint again all over the wing. Um, completely bubbled up. Uh, and it's kind of sporadic. It does it a little bit over the wing. And actually, my wife is looking up right now. Uh, Nitro Plane's new Dynam 1200mm Spitfire paint problems. So, I might have a little report for you guys here in a second. Okay, and it looks like we are beat up quite a bit. I'm actually going to shut the light off for this part. There we go, that'll help. Alright, yeah, we've got... This whole wing is beat up almost along the whole thing. Let me try and back out for you guys. Um, yeah, I mean, those are good, good gouges in the wing. Um, okay. Well, not a happy camper right now. Um... The retracts, I, you know, read in a review from someone who has already flown it that the retracts were really good retracts. Um, the retracts actually look like they are one of the few things that are actually installed correctly. Um, I'm not going to hold my breath for that though. Um, all right, and the servo, all right, servo in the wing is okay and good. So, besides the uh, bubbled up paint again here, and uh, let's see, on the wing, it's not as bad as the fuselage, but we've got it. Oh, back out here. Uh, we've got it back here in the back a little bit, but besides that, the main problem with the wing is it is got holes and dents, not holes, but dents all over it. Um, all right, well, that's wing number one. I'm sure wing number two will be just as exciting. So, wing number two. I don't even want to look at it. All right, we'll start with the bottom again, guys. Uh, wing number two. Okay, well, same thing over here on the wing tip. That thing has been smashed in. It is very soft, so that has been smashed. Not a big deal. That wouldn't bug me at all if that came that way. So the bottom looks to be decent. Uh, servos in. Retracts look to be in nice, so we'll flip her over. And what do we have here? Let's see, let's see. Well, this side is mainly the blue color which doesn't seem to be as bubbled as the brown, or as the, you know, the brown and green on there, so... The only things I'm seeing on this wing, guys, I'll turn the light on again, besides here at the back where it's smashed in and the wing tip where it's smashed, uh, the, the dents in this one are very, I'll try and kind of make the light go around them. Well, I'll just shut it off. The dents in here are, on this side of the wing, are, are minor. Um, Still not what you should receive for a brand new product, uh, but you know they're they're not horrible. Uh, looks like servo wires and everything come through good. The, looks like the mounts and the wings are improper. Uh, now there are holes. I don't know. And normally, you know, that would just be normal holes between the cells of the foam that the paint um, didn't adhere to but some of those actually look, you know, like they've got some depth to them. So uh, I'm not sure on that one, guys. So uh, a little dented up, a little scratched up. Um, but as far as the paint on this one, besides the wingtip smashed a little bit and the 
trailing edge there got a little bit um, well at least one part of the main airplane isn't bubbling away so okay well you guys know the next step I'll be contacting Nitro Planes and getting this taken care of hopefully it goes better than the last issue I had with a plane from them um, but if not, I learned a lot last time, and I know what steps to take now. So it uh, looks like we've got a looks like carbon fiber rods, all that's left in that box, probably for the for the main wing. So uh, that's everything in the box, guys. So that's it. And uh, yeah, not a happy camper. You know, yeah, you know, 100 bucks isn't a lot, but you know, that right there. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. That's completely. That is completely uncalled for. I mean, and the sad part to, to really think about it, guys, is somebody had to open this box and pull some of the box out to get to that small box and put my speed controllers that I ordered for my other Dynam A10 in there. So this was opened, and to get to that little box, part of that ca top canopy that covers this fuselage had to be lifted. So somebody saw it, and that just, uh, I hate to say it, but maybe that just shows you the, the quality and, uh, and, the, and the customer care once again. You know, like I said, I was having good luck with them for a while, and then you get something like this. Wow. Well, I'll come back and do some internet searching here and make some calls and see what I can figure out. But uh, <clears throat> my review on the, uh, just the box opening of the Dynam. Um, Spitfire 1200 millimeter R from Nitro Planes is two thumbs down crap. So maybe that'll change. We'll see what happens, guys. Stick around.